That's right. More inscription. I could not help myself. I, I wanted more. I'm literally recording this straight after the last one. Um, I, bro, I, I really want to play more of this game. I have never been this enthralled by a game before. Uh, at least not for a, a long, long while. And I really want to reach some kind of a conclusion to this series. I really do. I... You seen this? <laughs> I love this game. That's kind of concerning. I'm sure it's fine. So this portrait right here shows a skink and a squirrel. I think we have to match the portrait here and something will happen. I mean, what else does it mean? It keeps changing every single time I play it as well, I've noticed. And this, I don't know, find out a time, I have no idea. Or, hold on, I'm gonna make it the same time as the time right now, how about that one? No, I don't think that's how it works. <laughs> no, you may not choose a specific beast. Instead, you must now decide on a tribe that you prefer. A tribe. Okay. On the off chance of getting uh, Nicolas Cage, I might go bug. But the weird elk is interesting. I've never liked the elks, but uh, if I get weird elk, maybe I can make it work. Lizard seems strong. Let's go bug. Mantis. I randomly chose an insect card. Do you wish for something else? Yes. Yes, I do. I, I do. Okay, I guess we'll take it. An ancient woman emerged from behind an oak tree. Imagine being called ancient. She carefully laid out intricate wood carvings, then gestured at them brisk, briskly. Briskly? Choose! You must choose! Um, oh yeah, I already have squirrel head. I claim that, right? I have this now. Squirrel head's mine forever? Question mark? Oh, I can make squirrels. Hold on. I can make squirrels do things. Is that how it works? Because there's a squirrel head here, right? And you plop it on the body. I know exactly what's happening here, strange lady. No, that's not how it works. Hey, lady, do you think I'll win this run? F Flying squirrels. Is that stupid? The old woman bared her teeth in satisfaction. Your first totem was complete. The airborne signature will now be marked upon all your squirrel creatures. I think that was the worst thing I could have done. Because the airborne does literally nothing for them. Oh. Already? It's a little bit early, no? Yeah, oh yay, flying squirrels. Ooh, good one, Chosy. We can work with this. Hey, stink bug, you are looking a little bit weird today. Put you here, I guess. And turn. And you can fly, so... We do this, we do this, and we do this, and then we're like... Almost die, please. Probably could have- yeah, we could have won that one. I made a grave error, I could have won. But, uh, you know, masterful. Thank you. You know, stink bug's pretty cool. Looks creepy, but pretty cool. Gives me compliments, I appreciate. Well, end my turn, I suppose. And I'm gonna overkill you to no end. Extreme overkill, please, thank you very much. There we go. Give me some pelt money, thank you. Ah, the diligent ants. Its strength is proportionate to the size of its colony. I guess I'll be forced to take you. The bones of the ancient woman creaked and groaned as she approached. This poor woman gets a bad rap from you, man. With gently shaking hands, she placed her offerings before you. That could make the squirrel stinky. <gasps> Poisonous. How does poison work? Damages another creature. Okay, I don't damage anyone. <laughs> This is terrible. I guess stinky? So it survives? Yeah, I'll take stinky, whatever. I'll make them stinky for now. Can I undo this though? The woman collected her pieces and shuffled it off into the darkness. Yes, now you're stinky. Stinky squirrels. So stinky squirrel, mantis lord, and turn. Mantis Lord hits both sides. Um, we're gonna kill the wolf cub first though. Stinky squirrel. Okay, take squirrel, put him over here, create wolf. Plop over here. There we go. And this mystery card, blood card, mining? I don't remember this. It's a prospector! You came across a hobbled man standing beside some boulders. Honestly, the amount of times I've killed you and you've never killed me is great, and therefore I like you. You caught me off guard. Not supposed to see me till further down the road. Say, I like me a gamble. If you can pick a boulder that has gold in it, you yeah, can keep it. Show me where to strike. Right. Dag nabbit, no gold. But that is a funny looking environment. Yo. Wait, hold on a second. I didn't make that. It's a special beehive. Keep it. Uh, yes please, thank you. And then we go to sacrificing table. Am I your choice? By the way, I slowed down the text because I'm really bad at reading. <laughs> I'm actually a bit of an idiot. So I slowed down the text so I can actually read it in time. I apologize for some people who aren't as stupid as me. Okay, so Mantis being on another card that's extremely strong 
seems really powerful to me, right? Like a wolf, for example. Um, however, mm -mm, I feel like I should save the Mantis Sacrifice for later. Get rid of Bullfrog, quite frankly. I don't want Bullfrog. I give this to, I don't know, uh, a card I don't really care about. Like, uh, like you. You get stronger slightly. Fine choice. Holy, this is a really tough battle. A mole and then this. And I can't attack this. And the mole also blocks every other attack. This is really bad. Holy crap. Okay. Uh, screw you, game. I guess summon this. And then, yeah, I guess. I don't know, man. You sure? No, not really. Oh, now you've moved over there? Okay, that was actually really good. Um, I want to kill you. And uh, I apologize. Oh! Stinky. Stinky works! Sure, just just do this and and this. I'm sorry. I don't know what I'm doing, man. And then put Ant there, I guess? So Ant-Man goes there. Mole blocks both. You do that. I'm slowly but surely losing here. Uh, I draw another squirrel because I need it. And then I put this here so I don't take any more damage. Uh, we attack directly. We're slowly but surely getting there. Honestly, you can attack that tree, you big stupid animal. And I will... Salutations, buddy. And I will, um... End turn. Cool. Easy, easy victories, please. Okay, I want, I want this. I don't care for items. Potentially getting uh, one of my own made cards is really good for me. Adder, River Otter, or Mantis? Mantis? Just because I'm, I'm building a bug deck? Hmm. I don't want to sacrifice Mantis, so I'm going to sacrifice you. Because I got nothing to put Mantis on. I mean, Wolf might be good for Mantis, right? Who wants Stinky? Who wants to be Stinky here? Let's make the worker Ant Stinky. I suppose. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. This one might be bad. This might be a bad run. I need better cards. A figure emerged from the fog. Yeah, I know. It's a prospector. Stand in the way of my gold? Be darned. We've done this before. Many of times. Easy boss, just pop that mule. I don't tell me what to do. Feeling a Mantis Lord would be really good here. So like a Mantis Lord here would be super good. And the thing is the coyote is gonna come over here and then like kill whatever is put over here. I wanna put another Mantis here though, if I have the chance. So for now, do nothing. Is that is that good? Man, this this does um kind of suck. End turn? <laughs> Is this weird? Squirrel me? Um, mantis me? Am I doing this game right? Am I playing the game right? I, f I feel like I'm not playing the game right. We could kill in this turn. Our cards will turn into uh, stone and we don't get the pack mule. We need the pack mule. That is so important for us. Oh, okay, so, okay. <laughs> No, no, no. Let's save Beehive for the second half of this. Why is this guy causing me issues here? I should not be thinking so much for this for this fight right now. The reason why I'm concerned here is because if I summon a wolf here to damage the pack mule, okay, it's then going to go to the right-hand side, right? And then, once it does that, I'm going to attack the face, and we're not going to get the free cards that we desperately need, okay? So here's what we're going to do. A stoat. Total misplay, perhaps. Coyote kills, right? Yes, this is... Oh, Wolf, is, he didn't move. He's right, it was a total misplay. This is terrible. Don't die here, please. This will be very embarrassing. My mule and her pack! All right, yeah, now I have to win. Okay, so... One, two, three. I need one more damage. So Wolf's gonna do three damage. It's not gonna be enough to kill. I don't want to summon anything too important next turn, because I run out of, like, good actual cards to use. So now, I, I don't want to use the hook either, because the hook seems really powerful and I don't want to waste it. So I'm going to do three damage right now. I'll be one away from winning. He's going to do six damage to me. If I can just mitigate that, make that a little bit smaller than what it actually is, then I can uh, I can win. So I'm thinking about sacrificing the cat. Just putting it out there. Cat doesn't do anything. Put squirrel here. This might be a bad play. All oh, right, yeah, you need a uh, bollocks, balls, balls, <laughs> balls. I kind of like the bat. Okay, hit me out. Second squirrel. Plopper here. End turn. Three damage. We don't. No lethal. Okay. And then pick up squirrel. And we end turn. And then he turns everything into a rock? Just my ones? That wolf cub's gonna become powerful. More powerful than ever. And this is where we... Uh, mm. <laughs> 
This is this is bad. Summon Squirtle here. We summon Elk. One, two. Elk kills the coyote here. Probably should have swapped these things around, actually. I'm kind of dumb. Uh, and we have a cat and a bat and a worker ants. This is I don't know why I'm so bad at this game right now. We get one one B. <laughs> Uh, how much do we have to- Okay. An opposing creature that is placed opposite to an empty- Okay, so I think I've won, and I'm actually, like, a genius. So, here, here's my logic. Um, B is free. We plop a B here. A bat here. And we should win. Cool, alright. Not even a challenge. Uh, never worried. You will not perish quite yet. Oh. <laughs> I'm getting worse at this game, I swear to god. Let me think. I'm doing an insect build, so all these are kind of useless to me. I like the idea of a pack rat, just so I can sacrifice a pack rat later on. I think the pack rat might be like the worst one to go for, actually. As the air grew humid, your boost became harder to pull from the mud. The dank smell of tepid water invaded your nostrils. You had reached the wetlands. I like how they change up the description of each place every single time, man. Okay, I want to win one of these. Six hearts, three swirlies, and five bones. Okay, let's look at our deck here. Our deck is so thin, man. It's pretty tight. Yo, the wolf is the only one without a symbol. The symbol one seems like such a good shot. We got no bonesies. Six hearts? We go for sigil then. Just don't get wolf. Don't be an asshole. Good, 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 okay. One from Stout, two from Beehive, and one from Mantis. You have passed the trial. What do I get? Ooh. Yo, Kingfisher with poison. But he flies, and therefore he will never kill anyone. Very nice. Yes, that works out so well. A dam builder? <laughs> sure. I almost wish I lost now, because those rewards kind of sucked ass. We need a skink, dude. Give me a skink. Oh, what the hell? Where did he come from? Oh, oh no, you can't use that. I want to use it. What is... <laughs> I'm gonna take the goo. Alright, he's just staring at me in the corner of my screen now. Okay, so I can either do like a difficult fight or a non-difficult fight. Kingfisher, Kingfisher. Very simple. Um, you just need to, um, um, uh, um, um. So now, this will be a nice little stalemate here where he won't do any damage to me, but I will do damage to the face and nothing else will kill the ant. Actually, like, genius play. Uh, in the meantime, just do some damage to the, the face. And then we go for one of these. Mantis ain't bad, actually, but he'll die to River Otter, so actually kind of bad. Um, now I'm like, well, I can sacrifice Stout because he's talking me. Use goo? I'm serious, you cannot use that. There is no possible use for it. I'll place it on the shelf over there for now. My advice? Avoid it. Excuse me, I need to leave the table. Okay, I'll do it after this, this game. Sorry, Stout. I don't feel bad anymore for sacrificing Stouts. At first, I was like, I'm gonna keep him alive no matter what. But now I'm like, well, it's kind of an asshole, you know? Put a scroll here. We win anyway. Awesome. Excuse me for one second. I just need a piss. Hey, buddy. Oh. <laughs> Argar. The pain is unbearable. <laughs> Even after all these years. What do you want? I have very little to live for these days. Arr, I watched that dagger do its work for a moment. I felt that my misery had company. Oh, he's talking about the eyeballs. Oh, but it had its own noble purpose. Surely a step towards freeing the master. Interesting. Arg, watching the angler lose. Now that soothed my pain. Oh, interesting. So he's got two eyeballs. Maybe he was a guy who used a knife to pluck out both his eyeballs and he lost to the angler because he's a scrub and not very good at this game. And he became goo for some reason. An old rival of mine, that fisherman, he bested me this time. Oh, there you go. But I will have another chance. Arg. Arr. Yar, arr. You're right, he was kind of useless. Okay, I want to go to Mushroom Town over here. So we'll take a card. Hopefully Shark Boy or Nicholas Cage will show up. Cockroach. Mantis. Oh. <laughs> yes. Was really hoping for a Nicolas Cage. We'll go with Cockroach. You found yourself among a grove of thick, pungent mushrooms. 
you squinted to see a figure through a thick cloud of spores. We are the mycologists, yes? Yes. Uh, and we are performing our experiments far from... from... We are not welcome elsewhere. We will experiment on your flock, yes? We, we will need two of the same creatures. One for each of us. They seem nice. Um, oh, that's what the mushroom symbol is. That makes a lot of sense. Okay, goodbye, Mantis, I suppose. I, I think this could get messy. Look away. The Mantis, it is now one. Um, you, you don't say. Cool. What's the point of that? Um, <laughs> yeah, well... Yeah, just plop you over here. There you go, new Mantis Lord. You've seen better days. You know, the card's kind of ruined, honestly. But Mantis Lord does so much damage now, it's kind of, like, unfair. And, uh, we'll just go ahead and end my turn immediately afterwards. And, uh, thank you, good sir. Come on, Nicholas Cage. Kingfisher. No. Corpse Maggot. The inevitable maggot. They will lurch forth from your hand when your creatures are killed. That seems good. Cat. God, we always go for cat we always go for cat no matter what if you see cat you go for cat that's the rules we have for ourselves now i guess oh yes okay pack rat needs to go uh cockroach is is huge because he goes back to your hand you resummon him you get another item over and over and over again you can like recycle items and use items non-stop okay as long as you got bones so now we just need some more bones ringworm worker ants it's kind of scary. So you want rid of the worker ants. They will do a lot of damage to you. So here's, here's the play, I suppose. We put the cat here. We sacrifice the cat for a beehive. We end turn. Oh no. What does elk do again? Oh, builds a dam. That doesn't work. I I say we just take the we, we take the L here. We lose. And uh, we learned from this exchange that we're really bad at video game. Yep, okay, we took one life. That's fine. We get one later anyway. I don't think it matters. Okay, so we get to increase the power here. Um, we increase the Mantis. Yes. So now just 3-2. And then we do fight here. So Mantis, the reason why I did this is because Mantis now will one-shot. Which is huge. You beheld an immense man slouched beside a mucky pond. He appeared to be tearing hunks of flesh from a fish corpse. Some chunks were thrown back to the pond where a few ghoulish birds snapped them up and some were sloppily pushed into the hulking man's mouth. It's the fish, go fish, you bring me fish, 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 easy choice fish. Okay, we know the fish man. <laughs> mm -hmm. So hit me out, you do that, and then this, and you end your turn, and then you do uh, a lot of damage, and then go fish. You know what? I could have had lethal here. I hit the bait bucket now. So I actually cost myself lethal. But no, never mind. I still, I'm still best. I'm still amazing. Just, I could have been more amazing. That's all. Go fish. You're dead, dude. There's no go fishing about it. You're very bad. I wanted to use a fishing hook against you, but there's no point. You're, you're just, you're incredibly bad at this game. Quite frankly, I want to get rid of my cards so it can like make my deck even stronger and just give the Mantis more, more time to shine here. Amalgam. Canine, hooved, reptilian, feathered, insectoid. The amalgam is all. Get one now. Oh, it's part of every single pack. Interesting. Pack rat. I guess we'll go for you. The angler's foul smell slowly faded. Okay, almost the snowville. Yo, we're doing pretty well so far. Sheets of icy snow pad your body as they fought your way up to the vantage point. We are in the snow line. I don't want cards. I can't really avoid this, but I can sacrifice the cards once I get another card. We also don't want another item. We can get items ourselves. What? I'm actually not sure what this is. Magpie. The covetous magpie. It can fetch any card in your deck. <gasps> oh, but mystery tentacles. <laughs> but bro, mystical tentacles though. Come on. <sighs> But searching for the mantis is so good. God, give me the tentacles. God damn it, man. Intrigue is costing me the game. Okay, so we'll never sacrifice you, mantis. We sacrifice the cat, and I apologize. And then we uh, give the tentacle the sacrifice. And then we win an easy battle by uh, getting the mantis lord. Oh, there it is. <laughs> Bro, easy wins. Let's go. Uh, three swirlies, two 
I didn't read that one. I'm so sorry. Two of the same pact, I think that means. I mean, we have a lot of like, hear me out. We have a lot of insects. So three cards, them, just two of them being insects is pretty good. Unless they have to be wolves. I didn't really read that card too well. The amalgam kind of makes this one kind of scary to me. And a six health thing. I'm just going to do the probability in my head here. Uh, hold on. Um, go with sigil. Please don't be a bitch. Cool. Yes. Oh, okay, it's four. Brilliant. We pass. Beehive. Black goat. Worker ants. Uh, we already have one worker ants. We could totally get more worker ants and that'd be pretty dope. We do have a worker ant, right? Yeah, we do. We have a smelly one. Uh, we also have a beehive. Oh, we do damage as well. That's really good. That's a really good one. But uh, the ant has synergy with our deck because we want more ants. I don't want to sacrifice this mantis. So we sacrifice you. And then, honestly, yeah, I mean, I guess we give it to you then. That's a pretty good one for you. It will also be a wanton lethal, but it is, like, two blood points to summon. Yo, why is it always in my hand? <laughs> I love making cards in this game. It's so good. This Freak Mantis is amazing. 11 monies? He's up the price. It's a mushroom guy again. I don't think I had the same monsters. Oh, the worker ant? Oh, I don't really want to do this, but... I'll do this. You may want to look away. I know. You make my ant stronger, please. Thank you. You now have but one worker ants. Is it stronger? Yeah. <laughs> it kind of is. That seems dope. Not really what I was going for with the, with the worker ant there, but it works, kind of. Oh, no. It gave me worker ant instead, though. That's not what I want. Sacrifice. And we put this like here and then we do this Price this to put this here it lives because that's what it does we end turn here it attacks above me but only for two damage because smelly ants so now we draw one of these bad boys it's a stout we like stouts we put a stout here wolf is super awesome and uh we now sacrifice stout Dude, why is this not working? We're we gonna die here? I think we're gonna die here. How many torches? We have two flames. We can die here. It's okay. Right, yeah, we die here. Oh no, I could have um, blocked it using the. Never mind, I'm dead. Can you get like a second cockroach? Yes, please. Whoa, what is this? I don't wanna fill my deck with crap, but I'm buying this. <laughs> Every time, man, I lose because I'm. I keep. Collecting too many cards here. Yo, okay, yeah, another wood carving, please. Ah, where's the insects? Okay, what's my, can I look at my deck, please? Look at my deck. <gasps> we go for wolf, right? Wolf and this for flying. Shut up. <laughs> Don't look at me. Oh, you can only have one totem. Oh, that's honestly, this is better. No, this, this is better. I thought we could have like two totems. The trapper sat hunched beside one of the traps, slowly cranking it open. He gingerly removed a mangled hair from the steel teeth, but left the trap unhinged. Hum. You shouldn't have come here, you filthy scrub. Oh. Whoa, hey buddy, why did you do that? So this car just outright kills you? The creature opposing it perishes as well. <gasps> Is the creature opposing it? Bum, 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 da, da. I'm gonna die, gonna die, gonna die, da, die. I got the check, 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 check. Bum, bum, going to die. End turn. This is not a good uh, first turn. So I got one bone. I need more bone. How do we get more bone? A beehive. Okay, this works. End turn. Oh, this is scary, man. Oh, here's the plan. Here's a good plan. So, okay. <laughs> Let me just think this one out. I don't want to hit this trap. So what if I just put the beehive in front of the trap? But I can get some, like, free bees if I put it in front of the strange frog instead. Screw it. Let's do that. And then we can now summon the... Yo, this thing's cheap. We can do that now, right? We get the timepiece. <laughs> I keep calling it timepiece. Like it's an ancient relic. It's, a, it's an hourglass. Okay, this seems bad. We got the B. Mm. I kind of want him to pass his turn. And I kind of want to summon, summon this for this. Is that the right play here? Use this. You pass your next turn. The work ant dies. I get a pelt. I'll pass. Okay. I take one of these because I can. The wolf now becomes a flying god. And I can attack directly here. 
is going to be killed back, but I think that's okay. I don't want to, like, use too many cards here is the issue, I feel. Let's go ahead and do that. Just so I can get some, like, more health as well, honestly. I'm getting wolf pelts from, uh, Box. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, I see the issue here. <gasps> Mantis Lord! <laughs> I can kill Strange Frog and Bullfrog. Wolf kills me, though. I want to get rid of the wolf. The wolf is like the big naughty naughty right now. Naughty naughty needs to go. Honestly, we could also just steal wolf and win game. I'm going to steal wolf. Right? <laughs> Ooh, I think that's okay. We just end turn. Fuck, it still killed Mantis. Oh, it killed that man. <gasps> that was huge. I forgot it does that. My tentacle lord's gone though, which is kind of a shame. We haven't been this far yet. Exquisite pelts. But the cycle must continue. Let's trade. That's good. I like that a lot. Powerful cards. I will uh, I will accept only the finest pellets for them. You bitch. Trade for what you can, but know this. The rest will stay and fight for me. Oh. Well, in that case, I've won. So I can buy this and buy this. What do you do again? I'll buy you, I guess, as well. You're now flying. Yeah, I'll buy this too. I would have chosen differently. Yeah, because you want me to, to lose. And you don't want to lose. Like, I've effectively beaten your bitch ass. I'm gonna try to milk this for as much as I can. You know what? Give me an item. There's my timepiece back. The ancient timepiece. Just, just checking something here. No, I can have more items. Okay, I can farm items. That's awesome. <laughs> okay, well, I think I've already got three items now. So, what am I turn here? Yes, yeah, sweet, delicious gold teeth. Bro, that was pretty easy. And this is like the furthest we've ever made it before. Face-to-face -face achievement unlock. Perhaps one of these will entice you. Yo, we've done so well. We, I, I am forced to collect these no matter what. Another Amoba. The sigils are ever-changing. Oh. Mole Man or Strange Lava. Honestly, for the chance of mushrooming this Amoba, I want this. I don't know what's next. With the Ignomatic Trapper and Trader now bleeding into the snow, you persisted. You could see a light in the distance. The end is near. <gasps> okay. Let me see. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> Hold on, do we still have pelts in our deck? Is this our entire deck right now? It's pretty strong. Over here then, sacrificial table. The last one. So, cockroach. Dude, I can see a lot of use in cockroach. What if we give mantis lord the it comes back when it dies thing right that seems super good to me that seems so yeah i'm doing it and then boop. there we go it will never die we can keep summoning it back it's it's so powerful <laughs> your eyes have fixed themselves on the small cabin it's warm light a beacon in the oppressive darkness of the nights surely surely this cabin marked the end of your tra travails Oh, that's cool. Don't don't jump scare me, please. Oh. <gasps> I'm in the game. Oh. Oh shit, I am the peace. Steps away from the strange cabin, you were presented with an opportunity. I don't offer my boons to just any traveler. If you are able to pass my trials, you will be rewarded mightily. The trial of the skins? The three drawn cards must include a pelt. I'm pretty sure I don't have any pelts left. The trial of the finned. Three drawn cards must include a card with a waterborne sigil. I don't have that. The trial of the rarity? I must include a rare card. I don't... Can I check my deck? I, I'm screwed. Wait! <gasps> Hold on. Yo, I just saw that. Okay, hold on. I just saw that. That's awesome. Can I remove myself from the uh, the table, please? I can't. It's giving me a time. It just says 11 p.m. I could probably remember that, right? I have to choose rarity here. I got no choice. Let the trial of rarity begin. That's one! Two! <laughs> ah, an amalgam is a rare card. 
Success. I will grant you one of my most powerful boons. Cards that dramatically alter the game, and you don't even need to draw them. What the f***? <laughs> the boon of the magpie's eye. When you draw from the deck, you may choose any card in your deck to draw. The boon of the ambidextrous. You may draw twice at the beginning of your turn. That is so good. The boon of the goat's blood. You will start a battle with a black goat on the board. I've chosen to search my deck for a card. Once more? The trial of the ring. If you have a ring, you will pass automatically. I... I don't think I, I don't have a ring. Maybe it's a secret thing you, you're supposed to find. Okay, I don't have this. I I have... Do I even have airborne? I know, I kind of do. I have bees, but not in my deck. Airborne, I guess. Let's give it a go. Unfortunate. Failure. That's a shame. We got one boon. Yo! Hey, buddy. You managed to get a boon. This may be a fair competition. This is creepy. Oh, oh, oh. Goodbye. Okay, I'll go in. Oh! It's an old man! <laughs> Yo! Inscription guy revealed? Question mark? Explanation mark? You took your time out there, and I'm itching for another game. Are you ready to play? Touch hand. Okay, I have to play. I hope you are adequately prepared. Dudes. This is nerve-wracking. I got the smoke, perhaps. One more to be safe. That's... That's cheating. You you just cheated. That's that's called cheating. Okay, I guess we're doing this. I guess we're cheating. Emoba? Emoba? Yo, all the masks rotating around him. That's pretty cool. Okay, these um This kind of sucks. <laughs> he uses only rare cards. Honestly, that's what I would do as well. Here's the play. We go full on. So he'll hop to the right hand side and leave a tail there. And then we actually get our bones back and then some once this guy dies. I think this is the play. And turn here. He blocks everything, but we're weakening him right now. Okay. He's holding a pickaxe. I think he's about to destroy a card. This game would do that, wouldn't it? Oh, dude, I'm terrified here. I need a, I need a card. Whoa, 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 whoa. Okay, sorry. I, I need to choose a card here. Um... This one, of course. Duh. <laughs> Stupid. And, um... Yeah, I need- I need to... Sacrifice you and pop you here, right? And turn. Cool. That's huge. No! Oh! Oh yeah, he's back. <laughs> okay. I think this is fine. Yeah, we, we allow them to attack one more time here. We're doing pretty well. Oh, yeah, the Mantis God is such a good card. I wish I, I collected that at one point. The Amalgam is really good because it's like the other thing. And it can also, like, fly. But I think I'm going to go for the Beehive. All right, next turn. Pops in here. This pops down here. Uh, we do take three, six damage. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's fine. End turn. Go fish. That's... That's not what I want to see at all. Okay. <laughs> Alright. So, a squirrel for the go fish. That'll be the last thing we summon is a squirrel. I think I've lost? This is so stupidly important. Did I make the right choice here? I'm freaking out, man. I'm not even lying to you. Oh, well, I'm freaking out. Um, <laughs> Beehive here. Sacrifice. Put the Mantis here. Put Skrill there. Boom. Go 
go fish. We get one B, and we have to keep on going. Bro, we don't actually, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we do seven. We do seven damage here. If we summon Cockroach, we can do seven damage here. So like, yeah, we just straight up plop on these bad boys here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm freaking out, man. It's okay, because we got more bones to, to sacrifice. We're, we're doing good here. Let's do this. You capably endured the onslaught of rare creatures. But the true challenge was forthcoming. Shadowy figures appeared before you. In their eyes glimmered a recognition of kinship. But colored by guilt, they were betraying you. <gasps> Wait, who the f*** are these guys? <laughs> I remember that one fondly. Kaminsky and Reginald? Who the hell is Reginald? You remember- I don't remember Reginald! Was he in my- is he betraying me? Is that what's happening, Reginald? I don't know what you're doing here, Reginald. Who are you? Bro, so- okay, hear me out. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> mm. Let's choose a card first. We take the Amalgam. It has flying innately, which means I think we win. When a card bearing the sigil perishes, a copy of it's created in your hand. So, hear me out. We want to sacrifice these two then. Right? We summon this here. That's six damage already. Oh yeah, that's six damage. So like, do we just stop? I, just on the off chance they kill all my monsters, I'm gonna stop. So that's that round done. The last one. This damned moon. It's dramatic, yes. <laughs> but it provides no value to my board. I wonder. Now that is value. <laughs> I didn't see this coming. <laughs> the moon? You just summoned the moon? Band! Band! You just summoned the moon! Moose, this is where moon strike comes from. A car bearing the sigil will strike each opposing space that is occupied by a creature. It will strike directly if no creatures oppose it. One damage. Well, if I put something stinky in front of it, isn't it like OP? At the beginning of its uh, owner's turn, a card bearing decision will pull small creatures like squirrels into its orbit. Small creatures. What uh, is a small creature? Okay, I kind of want you to like end your turn after this. Because I'm kind of, I don't know what's going to happen. Let's draw another card. I'm running out of cards here. You want to go, Stout? Just, I think Stout wants to go, man. Who am I to stop Stout from going? So, I could just pull out my eye and win. Nice top deck. No, it wasn't actually. I, um, it was all orchestrated. So I, okay, hear me out. Skip your turn. Put this here. And then I kind of want to summon Cockroach to replace the item. Pliers. That seems kind of bad. And then replace it with a stout. And turn. I'll pass. Cool. Good. <laughs> yes. Um, yo, this seems really promising so far. And then we just... We go to town here. And turn. And the moon just takes a butt ton of damage. Okay. And then we just win. As we are superior. I'll draw a card here, of course, but like, we've won. We killed the moon? You really destroyed the moon! I suppose all that's left to finish me off. Dot dot dot. Go on. Oh! Should I? I'm about to finish him off. I will save at this moment. I suppose I just do this then, right? Okay, cool. Game, game one. I'm great. Game one. Oh my, did I just, I think I just beat him. Oh. <laughs> what? 
chem works. That was the ending? What? Oh crap, it's a YouTuber. Oh no. <laughs> hey there card gamers, I'm the Lucky Carter and this is another pack opening video. Today I am opening Catch Monsters packs and digging- Hey- What the f*** is going on? Oh no, it's self-aware. Hey Today Dude, I am opening crazy. Catch Monsters packs and digging for that epic shiny TRANSCEND DOG! And here I'll add some crazy VFX with it. Yeah, his setup is better than mine. It kind of upsets me. I put this YouTuber around like, I don't know, 150,000 subscribers. He's he's an up and coming. He needs some work though. You know, he's not quite there. And better than me though, I suppose. Rare is a Birchkin. Not exactly a viable nope. competitive card. Really but bad card. Yeah. Birchkin, honestly, D tier at least. Right. But honestly, now, not a great card. Wait, like is there only one than card than per pack? That's terrible. I gotta say, these cards are feeling extra silky today. Is that something so that, smooth. that card opener people sure they're say? They're at the, uh, the card factory, but um, these are feeling good in my hands. Yo, he's, he's trying okay. to pander, man. He's trying to fill in the, the blank so time. Here. This is not how you do card opening streams, by the way. Cards. I've done one before. Show us the cards! And our rare for this pack is... He only shows you the Band rare? Dog. Band dog. It's actually riveting so far, but we have many packs to go. Next <laughs> pack, here we come! YouTubers don't do that, okay? You, YouTubers don't like talk to the camera and be like, oh, I, I'm post editing Chorzy, by the way. Uh, make sure to add lightning and, and sparkles and dramatic music right now. Thank you, Chorzy, in the future. That doesn't. I don't do that. Hey there, card gamers. I'm the Maybe I'm supposed to do that. I'm kind of bad at doing my job. Today I'm opening. I'm wearing the same f***ing fleece. I'm wearing the same jumper. Look. <laughs> it has the same pattern at the top too. He, he's kind of wearing it better than me, but what the f***? Okay, this is freaky. This is kind of creepy as hell. <laughs> what the f***? Bro, what the f***? He's wearing the same thing as me. I bet he's not wearing any pants as well. I'm barely old enough to have uh, seen these going around in my childhood. Uh, for whatever reason- Crap, he's younger than me as well. He's up and coming. Uh, there's not a huge market for them anymore, but at the rate I got them for- He's literally uh, describing my Bobcat's wafer card it. opening packs. A foil mantis god goes for a couple hundred bucks, so. Are these mantis gods? How do you know that's the one I wanted? Definitely stands the test of time. Show us the cards! And our rare for this pack is- Blue mage. Blue mage. We can't Blue see the cards. Pause. He's terrible at his job. He, he's, he's not showing us the car properly. He needs a dedicated cam to a show in the car, all right? I like how this turned into like a uh, analyze the YouTuber video now. This pack has been opened and resealed. Hope no one snuck the rare out of it. That would suck. I'm waiting for the jump scare, man, honestly. Who opens and reseals a pack? That has no real value as well, by the way. Just to add to, to injury there. Yeah. There's a set of coordinates on this card. Oh! Looks like they were drawn on with a pen. Are you stout? Is this stout? Hear me out! This guy is stout. This guy found coordinates in the card, went over to his horrible like shack, got... Turned to a card, the Great Flash. 49 degrees north, 123 degrees west. Uh, I think... I'd have to check, but I think that's pretty nearby. What are you on about? What does that even mean? Oh, he's gonna go. He's he's like, yeah, alright, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna just go. I'm gonna go right now. I'm gonna check this out. Alright, he's now a vlogging channel. All right, you guys, I'm out here living my best living life. Living your best life, really? Got my trusty headlamp. Dude, oh. this, can I, can I just, can I just say what the f*** is going on with this game? I love the pausing system, man. What the hell's going on with this game? This very well may be 
a massive waste, waste of time. Oh. One more, please. So I was just checking to see if I can find anything like spooky here. It's all good. I'm sure this guy will live and go on to be a successful YouTuber or a vlogger or whatever kind of like path he takes on the internet. I'm sure he'll be great. All right. What was that? Like it. an MP3 player? All Hold right. on. Not go. It's an MP3 player. Is that a phone? That's the card? How come you brought a shovel? And now... We dig. Oh, okay, that's why. My bad. Is this him digging? Is this... Oh, uh, he was looking for something underneath the dirt. Okay, that's what I, I say. I give a 75% chance it's a rock. It's just not. But it didn't sound like a rock at all. Totally you could. Weird. By the way, when you use a shovel and you you reach a rock, it hurts. It like shocks up your arm. You know if it's a rock or not. What the fuck? The hell is wood? Oh my god, you guys! I can't believe it. There's actually something here. Inscription. <laughs> what? Oh my god. So I need to probably need to explain to you guys um, because I imagine some of you guys have no idea what this is. Uh, this is a floppy disk. This is what we used before CDs. I know, right? What the hell were we doing? So what is this? Some kind of giant Nintendo Switch cartridge? Mm -mm. Are you seeing this? A floppy disk. I'm uh, I'm a little confused. Dude, this is awesome. This is so weird. Okay, so it's not in the age of floppy disks. Okay, time to figure out what's on this thing. Also, unique angle for starting a YouTube video, honestly. From behind and you turn around. I like it. He's also, instead of like just recording his screen, like most people, by the way, just saying. He's going for the behind the shoulder look towards the monitor. Yo, that's the game. That's that's like our game. He also can't do new game. Okay. I guess we're done here then. I do not celebrate often, and I seldom give gifts. But you, challenger, you are worthy. Please do not be polite. Dig in. So, is there something wrong? Your prize awaits. Very well. Come with me. <laughs> Am I dead? Stand right there. I'm dead. After all that. Oh! <laughs> get to see him a bit more. He has like mushrooms out of his beard. What's up, buddy? You want me to grab the camera? Is that it? Can I interact with anything else here? Maybe like a zoom into your- no. I'll take this one, please, thank you. You want me to take a picture of you? Please, do not be foolish, there is no film in there. I will need that. You, Challenger, are a champion, and I wish to commemorate your victory. Please inscribe your name here. Um, number one at cat game. Number one at cat game. There we go. Shh, do not despair. You are a winner. It, it never mattered. It never even bloody mattered, man. It was all for nothing. I can't believe it. How is this game not over yet? Who's saying this? 
Am I the- the- oh, The guy playing is the guy who found the floppy disk. He's playing it right now. He's the player. We're, we're controlling him. And he's the one playing and he's commentating. The last challenger managed to defeat me. A rare event. Go and ask how they did it. You will find them hanging from the door over there. Aw, that's mean. Yo, don't! Yo, don't looking absolutely buff, dude. He's looking ripped. Looking like a Giga Chad. Oh, it's so open. Number one at cat game. Yep, there he is. That's me. That's me. I witnessed the final defeat of the fleshy over there. Quite a spectacle. Though I had no hope that it would bring me freedom for that to happen. I think you would need to do something special up your sleeve. Grr. Arr, the agony. You're a jerk. <gasps> I do not relish snuffing out your excess candles before a boss. Perhaps you will now enjoy it as much as I do. Uh, also, remember the time? I do. Yo! It's the ring! For the free boon. Is that it? I don't even need it, dudes, okay? Anyways, guys, that has been Inscription. I really hope you enjoyed this. This has been a crazy game. Um, I There's something more to the game for sure. And I feel like I, I'm gonna have to like do a bit more while playing it, man. I cannot wait to do more. Anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you guys so much. And I'll see you next time. Uh...